Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this cheesecake with some leftover Halloween candy. So keep watching and I'll show you step by step how to make this. Now the first thing we need to do is make our crust, and to do that, I'm gonna use these little mini butter fingers because of course I have a lot left over from Halloween. And I'm just gonna start off by taking about 20 of them and putting them in a food processor to grind them up. Might need a little more than this, but we're gonna start out with about, actually let's do 21. And we're just gonna grind these up until they're really small. Okay, so you can see it's a nice fine crumb that we have here. Now what we're going to do is add about three to four tablespoons of melted butter to that. Next, we're just going to take our butter fingers that we ground it up and we're going to put it into a springform pan. And we're just going to press this in really good. This is going to be our base. And once you have that spread out really good and pressed down, we're gonna take this, put this in the refrigerator while we prepare our filling. To make our filling, we need to start with a large bowl. And to that, I'm gonna add two eight ounce packages of cream cheese that's been softened at room temperature. One 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. One teaspoon of vanilla extract and one cup of heavy whipping cream. Now you just want to take this and mix everything together. When everything's mixed together, now we just want to switch out for a whisk and we want to whisk this on high for two to three minutes. And after a few minutes of whiskiness, it should be nice and thick like so. Next, what I'm doing is I have cut up some of my candy bars, my leftover Halloween candy. I have some crunch bars here. I have some Nestle milk chocolate and I have some Butterfingers. So I just cut them up in little bits and we're going to just put those right in there in the mix. And you can put as much or as little as you like in there. It's up to you. Just take that and just use something to mix it all in there. Now just pull your crust out of the refrigerator. It should be somewhat firm. And take our filling. And we're just going to line the crust with it. And you can just tap this down on the counter and it should even out. And all you have to do now is decorate the top any way you'd like. I'm going to put a Butterfinger right smack in the middle. And then the rest I will put a couple of these uh, candy bars around it like that. You could also sprinkle some Butterfinger, crunch it up with your hand. And that's it. Now we're just going to take this, put this in the refrigerator for three to four hours until it firms up. And after your cheesecake has had time in the refrigerator to firm up, we're going to remove it from the, the springform pan here. And before I do that, just to keep the sides nice and crisp and clean, I'm just going to take a butter knife and go around the sides just to loosen it up some. go and this is our leftover Halloween candy cheesecake well now it's time for the taste test I'm gonna give this a shot but before I do that I just want to tell you if you make this you may want to use cooking spray on the bottom of the pan because the crust was hard to get out so let's give this a shot
Mmm. I like the crust being that Butterfinger crust. It's a bit different than your normal crust. But you really taste all the candy bar flavors throughout. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this cheesecake out of leftover Halloween candy. It's a great use of your Halloween candy, so it doesn't go to waste. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button. Also, hit that big red subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, you get new videos every week. And be sure to check out some of the videos I have off to the side. I think you may enjoy those as well. As always, make sure you hit that little bell notification so you'll be notified when a new video comes out. And until then, I'll see you next week.